Blessings, everybody. Nico here with your Pathwatcher's report for the incoming wave that is here to stay for all populations. The first week of April brings a huge turning point. This new shift is personified in the Strength and Wheel of Fortune cards. Here comes the new addition to the March Displacement Waves, Augmentation. Aspects of greater personal power, ability, and evolution are integrating into the personal experience of all willing and working hearts. The Strength card is the embodiment of balance and cohesion of all aspects of self, elevated and exalted in mastery. No separation, no compartmentalization. The Wheel of Fortune brings amplification of all energies and outcomes. Expect bigger, faster results in response to the emotions, vibrations, and frequencies most consistently held and expressed in one's reality. This is what was discussed in the April monthly preview, occurring now, right out the gate. There is also a focus on visibility and clarity of the true spiritual and energetic state of all occurrences and beings. What is held on the mental, emotional, and energetic level will manifest as the external presentation. The outer and inner are merged into one expression. The true heart and spiritual presence of all things made clear. No veils. If there's any concern or worry arisen by this, please release it. All it takes is a shift, a pivot, to mend and alter one's course for the highest outcome. If you are interested in refining or catching up on any topics regarding creation and manifestation, please check out my Deep Topics playlist. It's on my main channel page. All content there is to help people of all experience levels. Personal revelation and dispensation of new talents and abilities, no matter the level of spiritual experience, is available for all willing to accept the work. It is really quite exciting so many level ups and activations I am feeling are already beginning just as I write. The strength card combined with the Wheel of Fortune is also presenting a combined balancing and catch up opportunity that will also be available for those who are just at the beginning stages of their journey. Everyone, prepare for a boost. All right, Gemini, now that we've seen what the incoming wave is for this week, let's see how it actually lands for you. Quick reminder, however, for those of you who have been waiting for the Oversoul guided meditation on how to connect with soul family, soulmates, twin flame energies, and all of that good stuff, it's up on the main channel page, and you can actually open the, uh, you know, open up my uh, main channel page by clicking on the avatar beneath this video, or you can open the down bar below and follow the links there, but it's up, guys. So, you know, you were asking for it. It's here. It's been up. Go check it out. It's also under the Deep Topics playlist. Hopefully nobody's afraid to go there anymore. So, <laughs> let's have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your cards. So, this week's archetypal themes all revolve around the fool, upright. And so for a lot of you, we are talking about stepping into completely new territory. In fact, the big theme is that all areas of your life are now stepping into brand new territory. Because thats it's really not so much about the fool, it's actually about the landscape. The more I look uh, at this, uh, at the card here, this can indicate for a lot of you when it comes to work, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to your creative projects, everything is having a new dynamic added into it that is completely alien, completely unfamiliar, and yes, in the beginning, possibly a disruption to your routine, but the Fool also brings in a complete rehabilitation, renovation, and then, of course, expansion and, uh, I guess you could say, improvement to the quality of life of whatever is there because of the new adventure presenting. A lot of you may be finding that this huge alteration to the landscapes around you are ultimately going to be serving in the highest interest of all concerned because we're also seeing you connecting with new people. We are drawing in new connections and yet at the same time expanding territories that are already there, 
travel opportunities are also going to be um, at least up for discussion, right? Let's use our imaginations, people, considering things that are going on right now. But I feel as though a lot of you are just having the, the, the dome or the boundaries of your world cracking open and just everything spreading out. It's actually a really, really cool visual that's coming to me. Now, the News and Arrivals card, well, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, and so there may be something going on with a friend or a family member who has to share some difficult news or some difficult information with you, and it does feel like with the Ace of Cups reverse, they're kind of at wit's end. I feel like they're, they don't know how to share this information with you, they don't know how to be honest, they don't know how to disclose what they need to, to disclose. But remember, with the Ace of Cups reversed, we are trying to get away from self-censorship. We are trying to keep things in a way where ultimately we are working on the best status of health for this connection and for this relationship. Now, the Ace of Cups reversed could indicate that somebody could be trying to resist a change in futility. Uh, maybe they think they're protecting you. Maybe they think they're protecting themselves or the connection. But we are also seeing a, a certain amount of sadness or a certain amount of guilt. And I feel like it's almost unnecessary. I, I feel like this person feels like they have failed you in a way that they have not failed you. They are feeling regret and sorrow and they're afraid to share with you their truth. Maybe they're self-conscious about it. See what you can do to be encouraging. As we get to material resources, uh, we actually have the Ace of Swords upright. And there is a huge breakthrough coming in when it comes to work and when it comes to money because the Ace of Swords is showing me that there is sort of a new direction, a new super highway <laughs> kind of getting paved for you as it relates to a financial, professional, or creative aspiration. And because it's material, this could also apply to household concerns as well. With the Ace of Swords, this is something that we can actually embark on fairly quickly, and this might be something that defies logic. I'm actually getting this weird sense of the fool that it defies logic. Maybe it's not in the normal order of operations. Maybe it is not something that... Oh, this is Persephone, by the way. I don't think she normally shows up for Gemini videos. Um, it's not following the normal order of operations. It's not following the uh, normal proprietary uh, expect expectations or the normal uh, procedures that go on at work. So make sure that when things are getting put out there, you're not accidentally rejecting yourself because it's going off script. In fact, with the Ace of Swords upright, there's a lot of permission, a lot of authorization coming your way getting a chance to kind of skip the line, getting the VIP treatment without a pass. Let this happen to you. As we get to the Seven of Swords reversed for love and relationships, there is another uh, bit of disclosure coming your way, something uh, coming out, a secret coming out. For those of you who are single or maybe available, may, somebody may be disclosing feelings that they have had for you. Somebody sharing feelings that they've kept away from you, a, a secret crush or a secret admirer, or maybe even somebody admitting that they've always had a little bit of a flame. That's actually where this Seven of Swords reversed is going. I'm also feeling like there's boomerang effects happening. You've heard me say that about this card before. Things coming back that we thought were long gone, things that we thought we couldn't do, things that we thought were cast away. In fact, the Seven of Swords reversed, it kind of feels like that could even be happening to a partner or to the relationship as a whole. For instance, if we thought something was lost or gone, whether it was a material resource, an opportunity, or maybe a prospect as a, as a couple we were looking forward to, and then we feel like we lost it, the Seven of Swords reverses saying something is coming back. Something is returning to the relationship, returning to the family. Something is returning to your partner that is ultimately going to not only be providing enormous assistance to you guys as a unit, but also restoring a balance and maybe even a bit of prosperity or hope or inspiration, at least, to your partner as well. Overall, an incredibly positive week. So that is what I've got for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.